Hello my friends and welcome to another First Impressions video. This time it is Against the Storm. An early access building strategy game. That's how it was pitched to me anyway. Um, it's come in a box here for some reason. Can I? Okay. Just click somewhere to get rid of that. Huh, that's odd. It's uh, selected the wrong resolution by default, which is which was unexpected, but it has just let me change it. It also thinks my graphics card is the wrong one. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it is a 490. What am I on about? <laughs> I'm like, my graphics card's a 590, no. <laughs> or is it? No, of course it isn't. <laughs> Either 590 exists. Uh, anyway. Do not V-Sync it. It's not using V-Sync. Advanced graphics cards don't use V-Sync anymore. It's uh, using uh, GTX Sync, if you will, or whatever you want to call it. Right. <clears throat> wow, first impressions. At least the intro music is not obnoxiously loud. Let's have a bash. <clears throat> the world is plagued by the Blight Storm. A vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. <clears throat> okay. Neglecting your village will increase the Queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. They should name the Queen Deidreana. That would, uh, that would certainly inspire some fear. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation. Unlock new buildings and eventually bring you victory. Okay. we actually do anything. You have to keep the fire going at all times. If the fire goes out, the people will lose hope. housing camps woodcutters camp I guess just anywhere is fine right rotate with R pretty standard In these kinds of games, I usually, unless there's some compelling reason not to, just put a path, a donut path around every building.
Okay. You build not one, but many settlements. To successfully establish a town and therefore win a run, you need to collect enough reputation points to fill the entire reputation bar. It's important to do this before the Queen's impatience reaches its maximum. If the Queen loses her patience, you will lose. You will also lose if all of your villagers leave or die, so it's against the clock, which is always annoying. I guess if it's against the clock, we better just go, go, go. Beavers! for harvesting. Useful when trying to carve a path to nearby glades. Do you have to do that? Two camps, get ten logs. That seems easy enough. No, you do not have to. You don't have to designate areas to cut down if you don't wish to. ready to complete. Next objective. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Assign five beavers as woodcutters and you will get some stuff. Okay, that's easy. It's the beginning of the game, Edmund. Of course it's easy. They're actually cutting their way through there right now. Let's mark. Oh, it's like a circular marker. I can't just draw a line straight through. Unless... Cheese it by doing this. There we go. This one is like only one tree in the way, so it should cut through. Choose a blueprint! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objectives. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
bars to fill. So I guess you just do the orders, and then you win the mission. That simple. Also, the music has strangely gotten louder as we've gone along, in my opinion. I don't know how this happened, but it did. There we go. Drill, baby, drill. The root deposit small. Can house three residents. How many residents have I actually got? Population 12. Okay. So I actually need... an additional couple of shelters. One point five patient in zero point one five in patients per minute. I didn't know my wife was the queen. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, my wife is lovely. She never watches my videos. I don't think she's ever watched any of my videos ever. Even when they're about games that she's interested in. It's like they're mocking me, just freaking get it done. I was like, oh yeah, this one will go through easily. All you have to do is cut down this one tree, and they just haven't done it. I wonder if there's a limit on how much wood they can store, or it just doesn't care. It says storage is empty. Goods are delivered to main warehouse when internal storage is full. Okay, I think the warehouse has got infinite storage. Giant vegetables. Small foragers camp. It's funny, like, you have, uh, you get these points to choose from new buildings, but in this tutorial you have no choice. here and we're going to demolish it later.
Okay. <clears throat> um, what's next? Just waiting for vegetables to gather. It's, it's one of these games, in a way, it's actually quite relaxing. Um, it seems somewhat sim- it, you know, it's relatively simplified for this kind of game, I would say. I'm gonna presume that later that the time- time pressures become the main, uh, the main issue or focus of the game. I guess the only thing I would say is that currently I feel that games have. I mean, if you love, if you like this kind of game, then fair enough. Um, but I feel like games have evolved a little bit past this, in terms of. Uh, I just recently played um, Timberborn, and it's very similar to this. In fact, in, in many ways, it's not as polished as this. They're both early access. Um, but it does have one little hook, which is that it has like a real water physics system and you dam water and, you know, the water can spill around the map and stuff like that. <clears throat> and, uh... You know, I mean, time pressure is nothing new. I'm wondering whether this game will have something some hook, some some special thing about it that elevates it above a simple building game, strategy game. Once in a while you can welcome a new group of villagers, don't let them wait too long. Okay, I click on this and it makes me want to click on this. my order as well. Stonecutter's camp. Produce five clay. Is. There's in fact some more down there. this area. So I presume that these resources are not in fact infinite and will disappear just like the trees do.
What does the storm do? Hostility of the forest. Do you get attacked? Do you get soldiers later? This glade contains a threat, but gives plenty of rewards in return. Okay, why would you... Why would you not build the... Harvester's camp. If it's bigger, badder, better, stronger. gathers different resources. Choose a cornerstone. What is a cornerstone? No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Sure, why not? If I can cut my way into this glade here. It does take some serious time for these guys to actually collect all the uh, materials. Okay. Reputation point also lowers in patience. Okay. These are my buffs down here. Will be demolished soon because it's uh, almost exhausted its resources. Yeah. 
Okay, I guess you can choose. Oh, these are the requirements, so I guess you deliver these to get these. Okay, I guess I'm going to delete this soon. I wonder if orders, I'm going to presume that orders cannot undo themselves. Well, finish clearing these resources and then demolish this building. you have to select the reward. Population 20. <coughs> Housing 21. So, should be fine. Ah, oh, now we're up to 22. Is this building going to mark itself as dead? Okay. It is, but it's not going to automatically destroy itself. Ok, 
Okay, that's just turning one resource into another. This feels like the kind of building where you're going to want to actually make a lot of them. explain you know how long it is until uh, the food gets consumed or the wood gets consumed for your campfire it feels a little bit hard to track. Is there no way I can force them to make planks? <clears throat> Seems to be the thing that I need right now. They seem to be very happy to make bricks and fiber, but not planks. Okay, he's making planks. And he's going to get materials to make planks. But I'm not sure how you would prioritize... Prioritize a particular resource, they just seem to make whatever you've got the least of. Through the forest to discover one dangerous or forbidden glade. Change scrolls to fabric in the ancient shrine. Found in the dangerous glade. Deliver one ancient tablet. Okay, let's cut it open and go. Well, and I think we'll be mission complete. You see, it shows you what resources you've got, but it's not showing you the speed at which they're being consumed. So it's hard to know, you know, whether your resources are growing or they're depleting. You know, later on in the game, that's going to be important to know. The trend of the resources is sometimes more important than the 
actual number of resources that you have. Get your asses in there. Right, what are we doing here? Kills three random villagers. Why are these guys not doing this? Oh, because I haven't pressed the button. Even though before it said no materials. That did, in fact, just kill three villagers. It takes 27 seconds to actually do this, so the... Losing three villagers was basically a certainty. Finally, some choices. benefits of housing people are. What is the benefit of the human house over the standard shelter? Does not really uh, say. things easier.
Okay, and I think that's mission complete for this first. First part of the game. Ding dong! <laughs> The school day has started in Japan somewhere. <laughs> to start, press any key. Villagers with, low res villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Keep resolve. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Satisfying a villager's needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. It's hard to please everybody. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in a tavern. Okay. We're out of time for a first impressions video, but uh, it's a pretty solid game, it seems like to me. If you are into these kinds of, uh, uh, I want to call them SimCity kind of games. Simpli- like, you know, simplified SimCity style kind of resource gathering games. Uh, you know, bar- it's it's a broad category with you know banished and factorio in it and i think sim city is the original of this kind of game um it feels a bit weird to call them sim games in this day and age and that makes me feel old but anyway if you're into sims not the sims not to be confused with the sims um then uh, it seems like a pretty solid game. It's early access, and yet it feels very polished and somewhat finished, so... I would be interested to know just how much more they plan to do with this game, considering, to me, it feels like a mostly finished game. Um... But hey, I must admit, being able to move your logging camps around and such is, is an interesting little quirk of the game. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.